I'm just honored that, uh, that they decided to do this for him and I so wish that he was alive so he would have been able to, uh, to enjoy this. But his sons are really enjoying this and uh, I was saying at first, you know, I was, I was you know, okay with it and, but they were just overjoyed and as time got shorter and closer, you know, uh, to this day I became more and more excited and I think I was feeding off of their excitement but uh, I just it's long overdue, long overdue. And thank you for joining us this evening as we honor former Eagle standout Howard Murphy, who was a trailblazer for both Moorhead State University and for the Ohio Valley Conference. Howard was the first African-American athlete to play football at MSU and also in the Ohio Valley Conference. From the moment he became an Eagle, he made an impact that has helped shape this university and our athletics program for generations to come. Tonight we will reminisce about days gone by and honor a man that has meant so much to so many. Dear God, thank you for your many blessings and thank you for this university and, and thank you for this opportunity that you give us here at Moorhead to better ourselves and especially to honor one of our former players, Howard Murphy and his family. As a football player here, we had our colors were different colored jerseys. Our race was a race between the, the goal lines. And so we are so blessed with your, your blessings. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. One of the ultimate honors in reference to being an athlete is to have his or her number retired. Although Murph is not here to witness this great occasion, I'm sure he's looking down on us tonight and perhaps he's saying, Dan Marsh, this is a good idea. <laughs> One of the significant parts of this university was when your father came here and integrated the Ohio Valley Conference and all that goes with that. I, I played with Howard. I was a little ahead of him. In fact, I got to run the ball a couple times. First two years I was here, I was a halfback. But after Howard got here, I didn't get to see the ball much. <laughs> I was moved to fullback and knew that I was to block. I loved to watch him. Loved to watch him play. Mike was a quarterback and he said he would hand off and then look at him and not carry out his fake. I did the same thing. <laughs> He was, he was something to see, I'm telling you. Beth, he was the best, I'm telling you. He, was, he could make a move in the hole and he, he would be this way and then he, he just had it. The retirement of Murphy's jersey is assurance that number 33 will receive recognition for the individual who took a stand for something greater than he could ever imagine because he was better than the rest. We honor him tonight. He's being honored because he symbolizes a Hall of Fame level career and because he demonstrated ways of overcoming adversity. His tenure here at Moorhead State University caused many others, coaches, athletes, students, and many others to be inspired. This means a lot. I'm honored. I'm glad my dad was able to break that barrier. Oh, it's rough out there. It really is. And he paved the way for black athletes to go to a place and play sports, do what they love. But one thing I really appreciate all what they said is, it wasn't about my dad, it wasn't I, because there's no I in team. Thank you. Thank you. Why did Howard choose Moorhead? He could have went anywhere he wanted to go. But what I think probably happened 
It's the coaches, Guy Penny and Earl Bentley, talked to him about being the first, changing, changing lives for other people to come. Howard Murphy's decision to come to Moorhead State and to be the first African-American football student athlete is something that truly changed the Ohio Valley Conference. It was a seminal moment, and it's a fact that we certainly tout within this league. He was a trailblazer, obviously, and it took a great deal of courage. And the trajectory that decision put this league on is something that really, as I inherit this role, shapes my work every day working on behalf of the institutions. Without his courage, the Ohio Valley Conference that we have today uh, isn't, isn't the same. So with that, there is a sincere sense of gratitude to everything that was done. The Ohio Valley Conference that I work with today is a league where we have approximately 600 black football student athletes, and that's just an everyday occurrence. It's a league where Tennessee State and HBCU is a good and valued member. We have a rich level of diversity, and that's the world we know. We can do more, but it's certainly something that we expect. It's a platform from which to grow. Yes, Howard Murphy was a trailblazer for integration, but Howard was also an elite star on the gridiron and also on the track. As many of you know, we celebrate accomplishments of former MSU football players by naming weekly awards in their honor. The 2016 Game Breaker Award will bear the name of Howard Murphy. The award will be given to an individual that makes a momentum changing type play that impacts, we hope, many victories. In Murfreesboro, Tennessee, Howard ran the football to the opposite end of opposite side of the field than our team, and he went out of bounds. And the names that he was called, you've heard them on TV, and you've seen them, and all. Our coach stopped the game and ran out on the field, and motion for Howard to come back to our side to make sure that nothing that would occur beyond that. He would not ever get mad. Never. I never saw the guy ever have an expression other than the best. He was at peace. He would let his play answer for him. Don't ever doubt that for the people who truly knew your father, as some of us had the opportunity to be a part of him, know that he was the kind of individual that he would want you to be. And I'm confident that you are, have become that, and will keep that legacy for the rest of your lives. Moorhead State is a better place today because Howard Murphy was here. God bless all of you for coming and honoring Howard. And God bless Howard. I think maybe if I did anything that would be pleasing to the man upstairs, that I had a friend and was a friend to a outstanding young man like Howard Murphy. He's the one that set the foundation that we were able to build upon that we are now here at Moorhead State University. And I look back now and look at where we started and where we are now and how I have an opportunity to work with uh, African American athletes. Uh, the number has increased quite a bit. So I appreciate the, the work, the legacy that he started at Moorhead State University by being the first uh, African-American player in the OVC and here at Moorhead State University. Hey!